All right, hey guys, Vape Gamers here. Um, so, I am going to be getting into fish keeping and breeding eventually, breeding eventually. But um, I have my glowfish tank. Um, all the stuff that is in here right now, minus the gravel, came with this tank. Um, it's on the white light mode right now. Let me just switch it over to the blue light. There's off, and then the blue light where it makes everything pop and glow. But, um, so, eh, apparently it's a preset water heater in there. Um, let me just turn that on so we can see it a little bit better. Um, yeah, I popped both of these things off of here, which probably was not a very smart idea, but since I did, I'm thinking, um, I'm trying to decide whether I want to get another one of these and put it right there, another filter there, or if I'm going to just end up getting a sponge filter and putting it in the side. Um, the gravel, um, I actually do need more gravel. Um, but that, that right there is 20 pounds of gravel, like. And whenever I was putting all the water in, um, this green one back here, it, um, kept flying out. It lost this part. Um, yeah, I know there's water on there, so I just got done setting it up and putting in the, um, the dechlorinator. I need to buy the conditioner and color booster and, uh, let's just flip this back to the blue light. Um, <clears throat> Because, so, like, right there, like, the gravel, it's not really very deep. Like, I mean, really there's, like, right here, that's barely enough to cover up the stone of this plastic one here. Um, like, this one, you can see, it doesn't even... No, wait, it's not that one. Where is it? Where's the one... One of them, yeah, it is this one. Like, you can see, it doesn't really cover up the roots like it's supposed to. Because, I mean, there's, I mean, and there's 20 pounds of glowfish gravel in here. Um, I'm going to need probably two more bags. So it'll be like 30 pounds, because each bag is five pounds each. Um, I'm really not sure. Um, I do have the, aer aer the aeration system stuff coming in this weekend and Monday. Um, I'm going to be getting one bubbler... Um, it's going to be a volcano one that has light. Um, I'm going to be getting a air system manifold because the, I'm going to be getting a Tetra Whisper air, uh, air, air pump. And it only has one air output. So I need one of those manifolds to give me several. Um... Now, for the fish I'm going to be getting, I'm planning on getting about maybe six tetras and three um, albino quarries. Um, this is not much um, yet. It's still a work in progress. I just got it all set up. I have the dechlorinator in there. That is a, apparently it's a pre-set. A pre water heater um my sister's my sister won't need a heater in hers because she keeps her room fucking hot and i live in the basement so the temperature down here is constantly changing um but yeah you can see like this filter it's nice it has um it makes air bubbles and stuff which is kind of weird the water is a little foggy um not sure why because I did clean out the the gravel and everything before I stuck it in. I mean, it doesn't look quite as foggy with that lighting, but it is a little bit foggy. Um, but yeah, I need the conditioner. That's what I really need. Um, I'm going to be getting some Java moss balls or whatever they're called, putting them in there because can't have actual plants in here because it's gravel. So I'll be getting some of that. Um, now I did go ahead and in here I did put 
You guys probably can't see in there. Let me just turn on my lights real fast. My room is a mess. Yeah, like my room's a huge mess. Um, but yeah, like in here I did put a sponge in. See? So, hopefully that'll help. Um, now, my sister's filter is completely different. It's just one of the um, sit-in ones with the submergible pump. Um, personally, I like this. This kind of pump a lot more. So sit on the back and it has a little hose thing. Um, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm probably just going to end up putting in a uh, sponge filter in there. I really don't know yet. Um, I will need to be get, I will need to get a quarantine tank, um, because you never know when you'll need one. So, this right here, this, all of this already costed around, I'd say $200. It's a 20 gallon tank, specifically made for Glowfish. Um, I'm planning on spending... Whenever everything's done with the fish and everything, it's probably going to be around three hundred to five hundred dollars for just this one tank setup. Um, because I'm getting a like here's the lid. Um, so like these little clamps here, those are for a light bar like that right there. That's my light bar. Um, I'm going to be getting a twenty gallon light bar that is has. Um, four or five different modes for interactive tanks. Um, I'm going to be getting color-changing plants, which, like, they're plastic, but, um, plastic and silicone, but they're color-changing, like, because, like, see how, like, these glow, like, really good right there? And then they don't really glow so much with that one. That's, like, color-changing, but it's not. Um, see, because the one I'm going to be getting, it's going to have, um, the plants are going to, like, with these two different modes... Um, that's just like a regular light, and then that's like, you know, the blue LEDs that make everything fluorescent glow. But, um, there's going to be more modes with the new light bar, and those different lighting effects will ch change the color. And I'm going to be getting a color-changing background to wrap around here, around the back, and on this side. Um, so it's going to be expensive. It's going to be really freaking expensive, um... But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be probably getting six Tetras and three um, Albino Corys because they will glow under this light. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, um, yeah, I did. I washed all the gravel off in this. I put holes in the bottom for drainage somewhere. Yeah, I mean, like, there's holes all over the bottom of it. Yeah, they're they're mostly all over here. Um, that filled up this bucket to, like, right here. Granted, just for an idea, it's not as long as my tank. So, I mean, that could probably fit inside of my tank a little ways, a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to need more gravel... Now, you know, I on, honestly, I could, if I cleared off, you know, this part of my desk here, this desk here, I could probably fit, you know, 50, uh, 50 gallon tank. Um, now, that's the other half of that desk. It's actually two desks, but I used to have it all in one. It used to be U desk. That's for my gaming and streaming and stuff. It's a huge mess. Every time I, I clean it off, it just... Oh, and then there's my green screen. But every, yeah, every time I clean it off, it just becomes a mess again. So I don't worry about it. And that, that is an air purifier. But, um... And that is a... Uh, Mountain Dew. Limited, uh, limited edition Mountain Dew mini fridge. But, um... That's not... This is the star of the show tonight. Um... I will guys I will keep you guys updated. Um I don't know what else to say. Um I'm really excited for this. Um 
you know, like I set up my sister's tank and everything for, for Christmas and all that. Um, my sister's only going to be able to have like three fish, but because she only has a five gallon tank. This is a 20 gallon tank. I can fit up to 10 creatures in here without having to do constant, you know, a lot of chain water changes and stuff. I can fit more than 10, but it'd just be more work on me. So I'm getting, you know, nine fish. I'm gonna get six Tetris and three um, albino quarries. Um, but yeah, it's it's gonna be a pretty big, yeah, it's gonna be a big, um, it's gonna be a big project here. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I won't be able to get you guys an update with a big update for a while because my work is cutting my hours it's cutting everyone's hours so you know and then I have to pay my parents $200 next week for rent and but yeah um, this water feels really freaking warm I'm gonna have to get a temperature monitor and everything as well um, right now I only have these two outlets for it, um, which the filter and the light bar up here is connected to that. I'm going to be getting a um, uh, power strip thing that, you know, t basically takes one outlet and makes it into, I believe it's 12. Um, it's not going to be like this kind of power strip though. It's going to be more like the one I have for my streaming setup. That is sparkling cider, just so you guys are wondering. Non-alcoholic. Um, it's going to be more like this one. Uh, this one has, you know, USB ports. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, but yeah, so that one has a surge protector and everything. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys whenever I can. So this that's gonna be it guys, Vaguemers out. Chia, chia.